Uh, first off, congrats on the win. Not many games you can win by 69 points. So what was it to just win a game by that much and to dominate Lily from the start to the finish? Um, well, you know, it's always good to win, you know, period. But to win like that, you know, it says a lot about how deep our team is, you know, and how well we executed the game plan. So it was pretty good to do that with my brothers out there tonight. Um, wait, do you want to yeah. Uh, Will Cunningham for post. Um, how do you guys take something away from this game? Obviously, you were up, you went up big in the first half. That run really, really pulled away, sort of ended the game ultimately. But how are you? How will you be able to sort of look at that game when you were up by so so much for most of it, and and take something away and sort of use this game as a, as a learning experience, even though you were up by so much? Um, I think first we should look at probably the little things, the little things that we could have done better probably to expand the lead even more. But we probably look back at the execution we had and how some plays we could have done a little different. Um, defensive plays, how we could have stayed in that gap or watched for the back door. And just just little things. Yep. And also just, you know, just knowing that we just can't underestimate anybody no matter what the circumstances may be. You know, always got to finish the game no matter what. Ashley, both, uh, both of you guys had great scoring nights. Can you each tell me kind of what fueled you tonight? Um, just always staying ready like the coach is telling me, you know, just waiting until my turn, you know, just being patient with the whole process and everything, and just believing in myself. Yeah, I'll say probably just the teammates putting me in good positions just to score. Um, even when I had two people on me, passed it out, or when two people got on them, I was just in the right position, and they gave me the ball, and I scored. What did you guys think about Quinn's buckets there at the end? It was great. You know, we were very happy for him, man. Yeah. I'm glad that he had the six points that he had. Mm -hmm. yep. Love to see that for him. Big confidence booster, yeah, too. AJ, you had 18. Elmar, you had 16. Was there at any point you were kind of competing against each other to see who would score more? Oh, no, I never. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. No, we want to see all our brothers eat. Exactly. You know? Exactly. It's one, just today. One eat, we all eat. <laughs> exactly. Today was just even scoring again. AJ, it was your first kind of big outing since you've been back. Uh, how are you feeling out there? I'm feeling pretty good, pretty good. Just got to have carry over the next game, you know. Want to know uh, Saturday. Just make sure when I get in the game, have a big impact and just believe in the team for believing in me and just big confidence booster. Do you have a favorite moment from tonight at all? Um, Probably getting the N1s that I had and just screaming N1s. <laughs> There's something about that. <laughs> um, you guys have been able to play at the combo for a couple of games now. What is it to be able to play in front of a crowd like this? It's, it's amazing, you know. My uh, my older sister went here too, so going here playing basketball, you know, it's kind of crazy just to be here after she graduated from here. So it feels amazing, really. It does. And just with the crowd, it just it's like a performance booster by like three, four. <laughs> so you know, I appreciate the crowd and what they've done for us. Anything? Okay, you guys are good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good mojo, positive mojo. Um, I think um, you know these games as a head coach are a little you know s scary, uh, just from a standpoint of you know playing the right way, you know coming in with the right mindset. And I thought our guys did a really good job of that um, heading into the game. Got off to a really good start and kind of you know kept it going and you know. Sometimes you see the selfishness, the one-on-one, -on -one, and, and our guys did not do that. They played the right way, uh, which is what we wanted. Got a lot of guys, I think, double-figure minutes. And, um, you know, great team win for our, our program. Um, Joe Collins, WAB Public Media. Uh, Coach, a question of us on the happened last night. Jason Preston scored his first uh, NBA points last night. How cool was that scene? Oh, so awesome. You know, he, uh, I was mad at him. He didn't tell me, and, but he was a last-minute call-up. So he played down in Ontario, uh, California at their G League and then uh, went up to Portland because they had some guys hurt. And the way I found out, D'Angelo Russell texted me. He's like, okay, Preston. I'm like, you know, what's going on? He's like, he just hit his first three. And then the assistant GM texted me as well. So I watched, uh, you know, his minutes after that. But really proud of him. His story is unbelievable. Um, it's still going on, but really cool moment. Uh, Will Cunningham, the post. Uh, you mentioned the struggles coming into the game with a game like this, but 
after the game, how what how much are you able to take away from a game where you, know, you guys go on a huge run at the end of the first half and you're up big? Um, sort of, what do you look for in when you're watching film and, and that kind of stuff to see what you can take away from this game? Yeah, I think you you don't evaluate it a whole lot other than the fact that our guys played the right way. They played together. Uh, the energy was good. And you know, it was good to get some of those guys some minutes that you know normally don't play a whole lot, and that's really what you uh, you know, want to do in games like this. So we'll evaluate those guys. Uh, we challenged them to play the right way uh, defensively. You know, one of the best possessions was late in the game. We got a shot clock violation with those freshmen on the floor. Uh, that was really uh, a great possession defensively, and um, you know, just you know, I told them after the game when when you play, we can't play everybody. But when you do get a minute, two minutes, ten minutes, you know, those minutes matter. And, you know, to be prepared, and sometimes as a freshman or a young player, it's tough mentally when you don't play. And, you know, that's our job as staff and, and our upperclassmen to keep, uh, you know, positive, keep working with those guys, watching film, because at some point they're going to help us. And I thought they all had really good minutes tonight. Ashley Beach, the post. Um, we always talk about the the depth with your your team. Um, we got to see um, AJ Brown finally play his larger chunk of minutes. Uh, what are your thoughts on his performance? Yeah, just really really proud of him. Uh, he's going to be a great player here. Um, you know, he was out for six weeks, and he just started practice last Tuesday. So we kind of eased him in on the Friday Sunday games just to get him some reps. And he'll continue to grow, continue to get better with uh, more minutes, more experience. And um, you know, I think he gives us great length and athleticism defensively, the ability to make shots. Uh, you know, the other day, one of his first possessions, advanced pass, catch, dribble, drive, dunk. And uh, you know, the more minutes he gets, the more you know he'll get a good feel. You know, he led us in scoring when we were in Spain. Uh, just a, a really good player. Uh, you talked about the other night how Elmore didn't play and you wanted to get him in. How would you evaluate how his performance? Yeah, I thought, I thought he was really good. You know, he's a, he's a great downhill driver, uh, can get to the paint, good defender. And, you know, he, he's one of the guys I'm talking about, like, you know, just staying in the moment, staying positive. Sometimes that's tough. You know, I, I was in that situation when I played. You know, uh, I think as a staff, as a, as a group, seniors, you know, we got to keep him engaged because, like I said, at some point he's going to help us, you know, in the course of the season. Uh, but, you know, it's tough to play everybody. And, you know, when you're, when you're you know, knock on wood, somebody gets hurt, you know, you got to step up um, and, you know, you got to be ready for your opportunity. When uh, Quinn got his uh, buckets at the end, the whole bench seemed to go wild. What does that just say about the chemistry that this team has been able to build in such a short time together? Yeah, I tell you what, like I was in that situation too. You know, my, my first year, we were, I was part of the DMP crew. You know, did not play, and we would always take bets on the end of the bench how many minutes we'd get, who get the first shot, and um, you know, really cool because th those guys work hard. You know, we're we're, we're actually redshirting uh, IJ Zuma, we're gonna redshirt Ben Estes. Uh, that's why those two didn't play, but uh, you know, Quinn, you know, it tells you a lot about who he is and what our guys think of him, the way they reacted. Anything else? All right, appreciate y'all coming.